Hi, I'm Charles Shaughnessy, and welcome back to E's 60-minute celebration of the world's most beautiful women. Now, next up, two extraordinary entertainers perform poetry in motion. When I was becoming successful in choreography, I wanted, I wanted women of all shapes and sizes to feel that it's not based on just physical looks, you know? It's about what's inside, it's about passion, about commitment, about personality. I remember being seven years old, being on stage at my first dance, re dance recital, but I knew once I got up and the music started, this is where I'm supposed to be. It was, it was the most incredible feeling. That incredible feeling turned Paula Abdul into one of the most accomplished performers of the 90s. Cool, cool, the former Laker girl turned choreographer turned superstar has definitely had her ups and downs. This business is based on such extreme highs and lows that we get lost in, in the clutter of it all and in the emotional aspect of it all. Having it all or having nothing and feeling that you're like on this highest of highs or, or feeling like you, you're not worth anything. With a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and three hit albums under her belt, this performer is beyond having to prove her worth. I like me for me and I've learned how to work being perfect too. I've learned how to work um, not having the traditional dancer's body and not having legs that extend up to here and arms that extend out to there. You learn to work with what you have and, what, and you learn what your, your attributes are and you work hard at those. One of the many things Paula works hard at is inspiring others, regardless of shape and size, to dance. I remember people used to tell me a long time ago that the dancers that they, they pick and choose and the people usually like the best are tall and like ballerinas. Visiting another former Laker girl, Cindy Picker, who teaches for the Orange County School of the Performing Arts, Abdul sees for herself how her work is influencing others. I have something special for you. That's right here. I get chills. I look at the dedication and, and the drive that these kids have, and it reminds me when I was a kid dancing and the passion that I had. I see it in their eyes, and these kids inspire me to keep doing it. The fact that I inspire them keeps me wanting to do more. Paula balances her demanding creative life with her love for children and family. I love kids and my sister has two wonderful little boys and, and I love, you know, I'm Auntie Paula and, and uh, I have fun with them. I have a lot of fun with them. Um, I adore them and I'm supportive of their sports and the different things that they do and and what's fun is that you know sometimes we are able to incorporate things that we like doing together and I take them out a lot and and I spoil them and I love doing that and uh, it's great. Paula and her nephews share their love for longtime personal trainer and karate teacher Billy Black. Yeah. 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 He helped me so much with body image and accepting myself the way I am. I mean. He's really gotten into the focus of being strong is, is really sexy and being, being uh, you know, having legs from dancing that are muscular are an attribute. With her powerful focus and the peace she has found in self-acceptance, Paula knows the traits of a true performer. Tenacity. Staying power. Vulnerability. Sensitivity. Family. I guess. My life. <laughs>